We've got two points on the number line, R and T, and we're trying to figure out if T is less than zero. So let's look at clue one. Clue one says negative one is less than R is less than zero. Well, that doesn't tell, tell us anything about T, so that doesn't work. Two, the distance between R and T is R squared. Distance between R and T. So if we let, if we let R be negative one, and if I let T be negative two, the distance is one, right? So the dis, well, how does clue two, the distance between R and T would be one, and one squared is also one. So that works. But also, look, if I let, so here T is negative. But you can also do it if you let R be negative one and T be zero. The distance between R and T is one, one squared is one, but here T is not negative. So sometimes clue one works, sometimes, I'm sorry, clue two. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. So uh, neither one of those work independently. So let's put both of them together. All right, so we know that R is negative from clue one and two says the distance between R and T, R minus T, equals r squared now if t was larger r would be that this r minus t would be negative and you know negative distance is always positive so we need to take the absolute value to make sure this is negative so to make sure this is positive I'm saying the wrong thing now on the side of your paper it had nothing to do with the problem absolute value of four is four if this is positive you just drop your absolute value bars but absolute value of negative four how do we get positive four? Well, you take negative of what's inside your absolute value bars, and that's how you get four. That's how the true definition works. So let's do the same thing here. So if what's inside the absolute value bars is positive, r minus t equal r squared, or if it's negative, r minus t. If r minus t is negative, this negative here makes it positive. All right, let's solve both of these. This is r minus r squared equal t. Solving for t. I move the t over and subtract the r squared. This is r. So factor it out. 1 minus r equal t. Now let's look at this. If you look at clue 1, we know, clue, we know that from clue 1, r is negative. So this is negative. And 1 minus r, it's 1 minus a fraction. So be positive. A negative times a positive is a negative. It says t is less than zero. That works. That means, now let's take this other case, see what we can learn. This is negative r plus t. Let me erase that. I got too many dots. Negative r plus t equal r squared. That's t equal r squared plus r. That's t equal, factor out of r, r plus one. All right, use clue one. Clue one, I know that this piece here is negative. And a fraction plus one, but it's that fraction's between zero and negative one. So this is going to be positive. Negative times a positive is a negative. So in both cases, t is less than zero. So if you put both of them together, it works. If you want to talk about this live, I'll be happy to do that.